What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick and in today's video we are going to be smoking some chicken drumsticks. We're going to be smoking these chicken drumsticks today on my Pit Boss Austin XL smoker at 300 degrees using some pecan pellets. This total cook is going to take about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, somewhere around that range, just until we hit about 170, 175 for the internal temp. These are going to be nice and crispy. For my seasoning today I'm doing half barbecue flavor and half hot flavor. My wife really doesn't like hot flavors so I'm gonna eat all the hot ones and she'll get the barbecue one so I'll show you how I make those two different uh, seasoning mixtures right now. Before you season your drumsticks what you really should do is get some paper towels and pat down all of your drumsticks make sure they're really dry this is gonna help the skin get a lot more crispier. Then put them in bags and make sure you separate them if you're making different flavors. For the barbecue flavor we're just gonna put in a little bit of cornstarch this is gonna help it get a little bit more crispy. Some Killer Hogs barbecue rub I'll leave the link down in the description and then we're going to go ahead and just put in a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. Seal up your bag, leave some air in there, and then go ahead and shake it vigorously. For our hot mixture, I'm going to put in the same amount of cornstarch, cayenne, a little bit of Killer Hogs barbecue rub, black pepper, sea salt, paprika, and a little bit of chili. Then we're going to seal up the bag and shake vigorously. You're just going to want to shake it all up until everything is nice and coated. So now that our chicken drumsticks are all seasoned up, we're just letting them chill out for a little bit while we get our smoker up to temp. Today I'm using pecan pellets. I think pecan is a great match with chicken, so is oak and hickory. Hickory gives it that strong smoke flavor, whereas pecan and oak are a little bit of a lighter smoke flavor. So today, I'm out of hickory, so I'm just using pecan. Pecan is probably my number two with uh, chicken, so we're just going to use pecan. I'm going to show you how I fill up my hopper right now. I prefer to use Bear Mountain pellets. If you want to check out this bag, I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description. You can make these chicken drumstick in any kind of cooker. You don't need a smoker. If you have a Weber grill, you can use one of those, or you can just pop them right in your oven. Just season them up the way that I do, cook them at the same temps. Just follow along with what I do. But if you want a smoker, check out the link in the description. This is the one I have. It's the Pit Boss Austin XL. I absolutely love it. It adds so much flavor, and it really is for more like novice beginner smokers because you just set the temp boom and let it go so i think it's great so when you go to put these chicken drumsticks on just make sure you stretch out that skin all the way so that way it gets thin all the way up around it don't just have it all clumped up at the bottom or it won't get crispy so once you do that just go ahead and put them all on your smoker now a pro tip is if you're going to be doing two different flavors put one on one side and one on the other side that way you don't get it mixed up and for my wife, I put hers on the right side because she's always right. Mine goes on the left, and that's just how I do it. It helps me remember because she's always right, so I'll know that hers are over there. So now that we have them all on there, I'm going to go ahead and get it shut down. We're going to let these go for about 40 minutes at 300 degrees, and then I'm going to come out, flip them over, and then they should take about another 40-ish minutes after that. should be about an hour 15, hour 30 minutes until we hit the internal temperature of 170, 175 degrees, then they're going to be ready to eat. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes on our smoker at 300 degrees. We're going to go ahead and flip them over just so that way they don't stick down to the grate. So I'll show you what we do next. <laughs> Make sure to use some kind of hot glove or tongs. Don't be an idiot like me and try to use your bare hands. They are very, very, very hot. So it's been about an hour and 20 minutes now. We're going to go ahead and probe our meat and make sure we're good. Again, we want to be around that 175-ish range. We're going to go ahead and check that now. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this in here in the fat part of the meat. To make sure you don't get the bone. Yep, we're hitting there perfect, right around the temperature that we want it to be. We're gonna go ahead and pull these off, let them rest for a few minutes, and then we're gonna eat them. When you're making different flavors, make sure to keep them separate and make sure you don't forget which one is which, or you'll have some disappointed guests. We're inside now and our chicken drumsticks have finally cooled off. It is time to take a bite. As you guys can see, these little bad boys turned out absolutely perfect. They are so good. Juices are flowing from them and they have a very nice crispy skin. I hope you guys can hear this. I mean, that's just straight crispy skin. I just wanna make these with a dry rub. I'm just gonna take a bite into these and let you know how they taste. But before we do, let's take a quick recap on what it was that we did today. So we started out with a bunch of drumsticks. We went ahead and patted them dry. After we patted them dry, we mixed them in a little bit of cornstarch along with my seasonings. I made half barbecue and half spicy. We smoked these at 300 degrees for about an hour and 20-ish minutes with pecan pellets. Then halfway through, we flipped them over. And then at the hour and 20 minute mark, we went out and checked our temperatures and we were looking just great. So we decided to pull these bad boys off, let them rest for a few minutes, and then here we are. So without further ado, let's give these bad boys a bite.
Wow. Now this is some good chicken. Can't even begin to explain to you guys how amazing these are. These were tossed in some sort of sauce. I'm sure they'd be way better, but I'm actually going to work pretty soon, so I didn't have time to do that today. But toss them in a buffalo sauce, in a barbecue sauce, a garlic parmesan sauce, whatever kind of sauce that you want. You can find tons of recipes online. Let's go ahead and just get one more bite for the camera. Wow. I'll tell you what, that barbecue rub really gives it kind of like a Swedish flavor because it has a little bit of those brown sugars in there. Then we have that salt and that pepper on there and it just gives it a really classic chicken taste. The chicken is nice and juicy, it's not dried out, but it has that crispy outside, it has a good taste. I'm really impressed with how these turned out. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting out a new video every single Saturday. And we're going to be able to post extra here and there whenever life allows us. So hope you guys are having a great day, night, or whenever it is when you're watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.